Well, it's a nice cozy day. It looks like it's about to rain and Timmy's out and Sarah's upstairs and Jose's taking a nap. Sarah's saying what right now because she thinks I'm talking to her, which I'm not. And, um, and I don't have much to say today. I think maybe I'll tell you a story, but um, anyway, one of our, one of my friends gave me a little challenge. He said that, um, he, he's, <laughs> I guess in the last couple of videos when I tried to pronounce people's names and I couldn't, so he gave me his name and he dared me to try to pronounce it. So his name is capital G H O F capital R A N E. And he thinks he's going to trick me, but I've lived in England where they spell Jeff differently. And I think that this is another version of how to spell Jeff. Jeff, it's, okay, it looks like it would have been Geoff, Geoff, Rain, but I think it's really Jeff Rain. So I think I win this one. But, okay, now, oh, one of our dogs is barking. Um, I think that maybe I will just go back and tell you a little story of, remember we were in New Mexico, our kids were little, um, we had come, gone there by faith, leaving everything behind from Miami, and um, we really, we had had already one miracle of dogs providing for us, you can see that in a different video, and um, now, um, we had another another um, kind of miracle. Well, what happened was, um, my mind went blank. Okay, what happened was, we were two weeks late in the rent. The d next day, our our um, car insurance was going to be canceled. Um, we had four dollars left. And there was one more, fa oh, and we had one diaper left. That's what we call it, the one diaper miracle. <laughs> so, and Timmy was still in diapers. He was little. And so, um, so uh, Jose said, okay, take the four bucks and go and try to buy some peanut butter and bread or something like that. And, um, and he said, I'm just going to be praying. So he got down on his knees and was literally saying, he wasn't really asking for money, he was asking for diapers. He said, God, we have one diaper left. <laughs> and um, so anyway, I go to the post office first because the post office was next to the convenience store. So I go to the post office first and I opened up the our little post office, um, what is it called, our box, right? And, um, and you will never believe, there was a check there for $10,000. <sighs> that could pay a lot, of, a lot of diapers. But anyway, so I went back home and I said, here Jose was saying, God, we only have one diaper left. And, um, and I came in saying, I was speechless or I was yelling or something and saying, Jose! And um, what had happened, it was very sad. My aunt had, um, she had been um, mentally challenged and she had never been married. And um, she had 12 nieces and nephews, which I was one of them. And she had gotten, I didn't know it because we had been kind of, um, you know, we had temporarily lost communication with the family but a little bit, but um, I had inherited from her, I was, all of her inheritance went to the 12 nieces and nephews because she had never been married. And so it was very, oh yeah, I was gonna say, without my knowing, she got acute leukemia. Acute means that, you know, you just get it like that. It's very a fast process. And um, it's very sad, but I know she's, I know she, she's in heaven, so that's the good part. But anyway, anyway, so shockingly, all of a sudden, we went from having one diaper left and all of those other bad things happening, 
into having ten thousand dollars so we were able to um, you know get caught up and we were able to pay off our um, credit card debt and um, we were able to get a new beginning so that is another way that we survived during that period so I'm so grateful there was uh, so many other ways things that happened to us during that time which I'll tell another time but anyway I wanted to say anybody else that wants to give me a challenge of pronouncing their name I'm uh, I will try I will attempt it but anyway I guess that's all for now I love you guys bye